Now to that smoldering toxic scene in Ohio. Authorities there say the danger from that trail derailment, I should say near the Ohio-Pennsylvania border, it's far from over. And there's no timeline for when it will be safe for residents to return home. CBS's Roxana Saberi is there. Tonight, there is fear and frustration for thousands who remain blocked from their homes, not knowing when it will be safe to return. We're not hearing anything, um, and that's part of the confusion. There hasn't been good lines of communication. Four days after a train carrying dangerous chemicals derailed, releasing toxic fumes near the Ohio-Pennsylvania border. Officials say they continue to monitor the air and water in the one-by-two-mile evacuation zone. But in a tense afternoon briefing, they offered few details about the possible dangers that remain. I want nothing more than to get my residents back home. I'm not an expert, subject matter expert on that. I'm a fireman. I put fires out. All right, no, uh, we're, we're done with questions. Thank you very much. This afternoon, crews were carefully removing the damaged cars. One day after authorities carried out a controlled explosion of some cars containing vinyl chloride, a hazardous carcinogen used to produce plastic pipes. But that explosion was expected to release hydrogen chloride and phosgene, a gas used as a weapon in World War I. Jamie Koza worries she and her family won't be able to live in East Palestine anymore for their own safety. And I think I owe that to my daughter, uh, no matter how much I want to stay. What makes it the hardest? My daughter. It's, you know, it's all the kids in town. It's, you know, thinking about their future. This church behind me is open to help evacuees like Jamie. Schools and businesses in East Palestine remain closed, and there continue to be checkpoints coming in and out of the area. Nora? Roxana Saberi, thank you so much.